everyone, this is Kazi Kidwana. Today with another piece of Lion King merchandise from Japan. As you know, Japan uh, uh, has so many cool uh, toys and merchandise pieces. Um, for the Lion King they have, for example, this um, exclusive Disney Store Adult Simba Plus, which I really, really love. And uh, actually uh, already saw you in an earlier episode. And today uh, I'm going to uh, show you a, a brand new piece of merchandise actually from the Japanese toy company uh, Takara Tommy Arts come this um, comes this set of uh, collectible figurines very very small figurines so I'm going to be uh, off screen for the most part of this video so I can uh, show you uh, these figurines properly. So what we have here is a bunch of five different character figurines from the original animated classic and you can see uh, uh, from the official uh, uh, promotional photo that these figurines depict um, specific scenes seen in the original 1994 animated classic The Lion King, Timon and Pumba, Scar, Mufasa and Young Simba. Now there's a little uh, sheet that came with the figurines, but it is all in Japanese. So if you're Japanese and uh, or able to translate uh, some of the stuff uh, written here, um, feel free to comment below. These are the Takara Tommy Arts Mike. I hope I pronounced this correctly. Mike Lion King collectible figurines. They do not come in uh, any spectacular box packaging, rather in these uh, transparent plastic bags, generic plastic bags, and we've also got a small piece of cardboard uh, with a Hakuna Matata design of Timon, uh, Pumba and Simba. And then as I said we have Timon and Pumba, Scar, Mufasa and Simba. Um, some of these figures do require some assembly. Uh, Timon and Pumba come already assembled. The only thing you have to do is to place the tree root over them. And you, if you are a big Lion King fan, then you uh, recognize the, the movie scene. That's where, that's from where uh, Nala finds adult Simba, and Nala's chasing around. Uh, uh, Timon and Pumba and they're trying to ex escape Nala with uh, Pumba getting stuck under, uh, under a tree root and I must say that uh, his uh, expression is uh, captured perfectly uh, his uh, funny face, look at that and we also have Timon, the smallest figure uh, in the entire set which is scared to death. Um, Timon doesn't stand on its own, so you have to prop him against uh, uh, this uh, tree uh, root in order for him to be able to stand. It's an extremely tiny figure, uh, less than an inch, actually. That's, it's too fun. Uh, I really, really like, uh, really like the design. Uh, then we have Scar, and Scar we actually have to assemble. We have to assemble the tail, his uh, right front leg, and his head. And the assembly uh, works pretty well. The pieces do fit very nicely, and it doesn't take uh, a lot of effort to put these together. And here is our completed scar, and of course, 
Uh, the very first thing we check is to see if he has his scar. And he does have his scar across his left eye. It's a bit difficult to see on such a small scale, but um, they really, they really did paint his scar. It was nice to see uh, great eyes. Uh, you can also see the individual teeth, actually. And that little main tuft uh, on his uh, on the knees of his front legs. The claws are painted. The figure is really true to the uh, animated character as seen in the movie. Uh, great face expression. Very, very nice top on score. Although they are as, uh, some minor uh, pen, paint in use, but uh, uh, nothing too serious. Uh, actually, uh, hardly notice on such a small figure. And then let's uh, move on to Mufasa and Simba. We have to put together, uh, we have to assemble Mufasa as well. The tail, uh, one of the uh, front legs and the head. So uh, be careful when you uh, unpack these figures as not to lose any parts, especially the tail is very small. And then we put this together as well. You do not need any, any glue or something, but uh, you can certainly uh, uh, add some super glue if you uh, would like to, but uh, I noticed that uh, the, the parts uh, uh, connect together uh, really nice. And what's also really nice is the uh, details on Mufasa and Simba. This is the pouncing lesson scene. Uh, one of these father-son bonding moments that I love so much. Uh, in the Lion King, you know the scene where Mufasa tells his son to stay really low, and you can hear uh, Sasu chattering in the background. We do not have a Sasu figure here, unfortunately, but uh, take a look at these two. Uh, well, really accurate face on Mufasa. You can see the ear sticking out of his mane. And he got his paws and and look at the tiny little cub. Isn't that cute? Simba for sure is determined to become a great Lion King as great as his father. Uh, Simba uh, did not need to be assembled, it's uh, one piece of, feels like some soft plastic uh, or rubber. And these are our and there's the whole lineup. Timon, Pumbaa, Scar, Mufasa and Simba all in accurate movie scenes. It captured them very nice, but um, if you look at the uh, promotional uh, photo from Tommy, uh, you can see um, uh, the prototypes definitely look a bit better. The, um, they, they give you the impression that these figures would be uh, actually a lot uh, larger, but of course I knew uh, when I ordered them I they have the uh, measurements uh, of the individual figures and can measure them as well again for you here on camera uh, and can see um, if we take uh, the adult lions as the largest figures and then uh, we've got Timon which is not even 
not even an inch, only around two centimeters in height. And then we've got the adult lions. That are around eight centimeters, that's around three inches. Uh, Simba is of course really tiny as well. Uh, this, is, this is significantly uh, smaller than the action figures that have been released over time. I'm going to uh, compare to give you an idea. Here is the Mattel Mufasa action figure from 1994. The fighting action Mufasa. You can see how much uh, uh, taller and bigger he is, so um, they do not scale up uh, correctly with any of the action figures that you may have. But what we can do is to place them onto the uh, Pride Rock playset, if you have that, the Mattel Pride Rock playset. Uh, check it out in episode number 81. Uh, not all of the figures uh, can properly fit here, but I would say they do scale up nicely with the playset. It's not bad. Oh, these figures are so tiny I can hardly uh, grasp, grasp them with my hand. Um, these are definitely not suitable for young kids. Keep that in mind. Do not give them to... Uh, Small children. It's definitely a choking hazard. I mean, this, uh, this bigger action figures are no problem, but uh, these are definitely uh, uh, more for older kids and adults to collect. My Japanese skills are a little rusty. I see something uh, say, saying on the uh, official promotional photo. Uh, something like 300 yen, that would be less than $3 currently, around $2.75, uh, so I'm not sure if this uh, is the price for uh, one of the figures or the entire set. I remember Timon and Pumba come in one package and Mufasa and Simba as well, and Scar is a separate set. So, what I can say is um, that you can get it on eBay, on ebay.com, and import it from Japan. I got it actually from, the, from a US seller for $30 for the entire set. And I see the sellers from Japan are offering it for uh, around $35 to $40. So, it's relatively expensive for such small figures. But I have to say, the concept is really, really uh, awesome. Uh, I just wish they would be as big as the uh, uh, original action figures. These are not action figures because they do not have any uh, uh, articulation uh, or uh, movable uh, parts or anything. Yet they do make a, a, a nice display, especially if you have the uh, Pride Rock play sets. Uh, uh, you can put Scar up here. On Pride Rock, yeah, he actually fits. It's really nice. So yeah, I think that's already it. A really rare Lion King toy, at least in our part of the world, in Europe or the US. And as you can see, it's always worth taking a look on Japan and uh, their toys and merchandise lineup that they have over there. Sometimes some really, really cool exclusive stuff that they get. Uh, sometimes uh, even better than what we have here, around here. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next weekend, of course. And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.